After the height test, we're going to move on to the push-up and sit-up test. Um, the first one we like to do is the push-up test. This is the proper push-up position. He's in the plank position. His butt is down, back is straight. Hands are shoulder width apart, fingers pointing forward. And when he goes down, he's going to keep his head up and looking straight ahead. And when he goes down, he's going to go to 90 degrees and all the way back up. And he'll continue doing this until he reaches 36 or can no longer go to 90 degrees. Katie is going to demonstrate the proper push-up position for females, the modified push-up. She has her back straight, butt down again, and when she goes down, she's going to go to 90 degrees and all the way back up. Her fingers are pointing forward, and she's going to keep her head straight ahead when she goes down. Great job. And for this test, for females, remember to do the modified push-up versus the normal push-up as the test is calibrated for females to do the modified push-up. For females push-up modified test, you are going to go to 30. Is this push-up position? No, for push-up position, you're going to want to be in a plank position with your butt down, your back flat. And when you go down, you're going to want to go to 90 degrees. How wide should I have my hands? You should have your hands about shoulder width apart, with fingers pointing forward. And when you go down, make sure to be looking straight ahead. Okay, cool. Okay. So, can you demonstrate a 90 degree push-up for us? Yes. So, 90 degrees all the way down and all the way up. For males, you're going to have them do normal push-up position. For females, the test is calibrated for a girl push-up position, which is, you can show is just on your knees. You also want to, when you're in the girl push-up position, still 90 degrees down. Back, back flat in a plank position and butt down, not up.